What's going on guys, Scott here, and I have a question for you. Do you remember Brink, the fast-paced, parkour-heavy, team-based shooter that focused on objectives by developer Splash Damage? You know, the one with a colorful cast of customizable classes that was labeled a TF2 killer. Yeah, it's okay if you don't. Even though it was quite fun to play, a few flaws in the design forced it to die off pretty quickly. Well, it seems Splash Damage learned from Brink's mistakes, and they're back with another parkour-tinged, team-based, objective-focused, free-to-play shooter with Dirty Bomb. Now, the game is set in a post-apocalyptic London, where you'll play as a three-character swappable squad on one of two teams of mercenaries, hell-bent on racking up a body count as well as completing objectives such as destroying a water pump to flood a subway system, hacking a mainframe, things like that. Now you either complete the objective or you defend the objective, and upon winning you will get some in-game currency which can be used to purchase more characters with different abilities and weapons. Now currently Dirty Bomb has two game modes, objective, which as you can guess, you fight until you complete or defend against an objective, and Stopwatch, which again deals with attacking or defending, but this mode has you fighting against a clock as well. Now the game isn't your average military shooter either, I kind of view it as the bastard love child of Team Fortress and Call of Duty in character design. Sure you play as the shotgun girl or the heavy weapons guy, but Splash Damage did a great job in differentiating classes and giving each merc a bit of personality. Now the ability to switch between characters in your squad is a nice addition to the game. So say you're playing a match as a healer, and you notice your team's being sniped from a distance with no sniper of your own to counter, you can basically switch class upon death, go sniper, boom, you get a couple headshots, and you are the real MVP your team deserves. Now they also go out of their way in the tutorial video to advise players that this is a team-based game. No reason to run and gun searching for leaderboard glory, because if you do, your team will more than likely lose. They also explain proper teammate etiquette in the tutorial, and I gotta say, it's pretty spot on. The number one key to teamwork is this, don't be a dick. Get some. I wish every game would give you a tutorial explaining not to be a dick. That would be amazing. Now after playing about 7 hours of the game during beta, I could say I definitely had a positive experience playing. There were limited maps and characters, but the ones that were available seemed pretty balanced. The maps were on the large side and had multiple routes to get to the objective, which is always nice, as well as some tight choke points to plan your defense around. As far as characters go, there should be something for everyone. So you all, but Scott, when can I play Dirty Bomb? Well, the game comes out next Thursday, the 26th, and as I mentioned before, it is a free-to-play game on Steam. Now, with any free-to-play game, you have to wonder if it's truly free-to-play, or if you're going to be paying that real-world money for that pay-to-win advantage. Splash Damage did state on the store page that it is truly free-to-play, which is a relief saying that the game is being published by Nexon, who may or may not dabble in that pay-to-win arena from time to time. Now we all know game devs need to eat too, so I'm assuming you'll be able to purchase in-game currency to unlock characters, or possibly keys for the crates that will drop, which contain alternate loadouts for each mercenary. And uh, it's very CSGO type fashion, the thing scrolls a little bit as you can see, and then it lands on something. There are different tiered like special loadouts, and I don't know like if you'll be able to buy these loadouts on their own or anything like that, if you can only get them through the crates, but I guess we'll have to wait until Thursday to see how they handle it in game. Now that you're familiar with Dirty Bomb, let me know in the comment section below, are you stoked for it? Do you plan on playing it? Have you been following it since it was Extraction? Definitely interested to see what people think about this game, and uh, I'm pretty excited for it, I'm not gonna lie. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take it easy and peace. Sweet.